What's up YouTube? This is uh, GrowerMD and uh, just back making a video kind of going over some uh, nutrient stuff and some feeding methodology for you. So before, or really quick, um, just a little background. The majority of what I've been doing since I've moved in here is, uh, pre is pretty much just veg. Um, all my plants are pretty much new plants all the, for all the grows. I'm in the process of refreshing all my mother plants so uh, so that I can, you know, clean out the ones that have been kind of stressed at my old ho at my house. And with that, you know, just I've been using a lot of different combinations of things. And before I kind of talk, I mean, I'll show you guys the nutrients that I've been using. But uh, before I talk about how I apply them, I just wanted to kind of talk about um, the reason why I apply them the way that I do. So the way I apply my nutrients is I usually fill my reservoir up completely to 55 gallons. At that point, I always typically mix a full strength batch of nutrients. In at least full strength in relation to what I think the plants can handle. I would never, I never, um, you know, if I'm obviously feeding a clone, I'm not gonna go full strength on it. But I mean full strength in relation to the way, the application when it reaches it's being used for its week of flower, its week of veg, etc. So. Anyway, I uh, you know I'll mix my solutions that way, and then as I, as I start feeding, um, since I am using at the moment all drain to or zero runoff systems, as the weeks progress in the reservoir drain or as the days progress in the reservoir drains, I continue to add fresh water um, in small increments, like one gallon to uh, two gallons at a time, usually like every day or every other day. And what that does is it extends my reservoir. It refreshes it with fresh water. It helps keep me on my toes about making, maintaining pH level. And what it also does is it allows the plants to absorb at all um, different PPM levels without sitting in stagnant, without getting um, nutrients that have just been sitting stagnant for an entire week. I also may, I think it's important to have a pump that's sitting in your uh, in your reservoir that's constantly circulating the water along with air stones so uh, you know as I said when I've been vegging my plants I've been using uh, combinations between using the uh, the CNS 17 grow as the base and the pure Ben pro compost as an additive and vice versa and uh, I also have been using uh, aqua shield liquid karma Calmac plus and b52 as the main sources of uh, my nutrients and they're typically these are what I refer to as uh, my reservoir nutrients and uh, I mean that because they're part of what I tip would put it in a, a standard batch of a reservoir at the moment at least that's what I've been using so and then I have all these other nutrients that are you know enzymes and um, you know different forms of uh, bacillus, bacillus strains and some other products that I've been using and I don't think these work too effectively in a reservoir they tend to be broken down the uh, the rises here tends to be broken down by a lot of the the uh, components and some of these other nutrients so I like to mix these separately <coughs> and I also when I do it I also do not use an air stone when I mix these uh, you know when you're using these liquids it's not a big deal but you'll notice with some of these like the sea green this is a new product it foams pretty bad if you put it in with an air stone. Same thing with uh, pretty much any of the powder solubles like White Widow or Organism Excel or um, what's the other one? Uh, you get the idea. But nonetheless, um, you know, so I like to do those separately in like a five gallon bucket and then apply them directly to the roots that way. So I'll typically do you know I'll mix it up every now and then just between like doing the roots accelerator and the super thrive and I just ran out but I had white widow and uh, oh Michael Madness was uh, the other one and I was using white widow Michael Madness and organism XL by themselves and just applying them directly to the root zone and I think this you get the best efficiency out of it that way uh, same thing with uh, these products these are uh, really great value I've talked about them before but I mean you can get a gallon of this shit for like $78 compared to a voodoo juice of like $300 and these can be mixed in reservoirs the application rates are pretty low like 2.5 milliliters in hydroponics per um, per gallon I think so 
um, you know, really low there, but I still tend to like to get, try to get the most use out of them and apply them directly to the root zone when I'm using these products. So, and when I do that, I've also been using the, uh, the H2, um, the advanced nutrients, this is uh, the humic acid, and this also helps the plants be able to absorb those uh, different forms of bacillus. You know, it just really helps in the, uh, the uptake. So, I've been using that, and then every now and then with, uh, you know, in my reservoirs, I'll throw in combinations between these uh, organic supplements, the, uh, the agona and the uh, mother of tea. But uh, not too often. And of course, you got to have your hydrozyme. I mean, it's like mandatory. So, but anyway, uh, moving forward with the flowering, um, you know, I am going to be doing a lot of side by side testing, experimenting, and uh, I'm also trying to work with a few different nutrient companies and hydro hydrosource to uh, sponsor. And I have had one offer, but not too sure if I want to risk with the company because um, it's something I've never heard of and I uh, don't haven't seen anybody using them in the past so it's called Canadian Express by the way if any of you guys have any information on it I would love to know if you've heard of it um, apparently they have you know like a full series that's comparable to Canna but I have no experience with it so I'm kind of debating on that but I'm working on trying to get new somebody you know a full line to be sponsored for each of the grows is following this one this first one so for now i'm just going to drain the rest of the advance that i have so oh shit <clears throat> so um i'm going to go ahead and uh, start off with sensi bloom at the beginning and and uh while we're just getting started and we'll finish these bottles off there's not too much left and then after that we'll go and uh, finish it off with the connoisseur and that should pretty much finish it off i shouldn't need any more i don't think but uh we'll see and then on, aside from that, I've got a Sensizyme, I've got Rhino Skin, Bud Candy, Nirvana, Big Bud, I've got Liquid Carbo Load, Overdrive, and I'll be using uh, all those, you know, I'll explain them when I use them at the time, because uh, the videos that I'll probably be making will be around the reservoir change, so. But uh, I have heard people complaining that, or not complaining, but mentioning that Bud Candy gives their bud all the same, you know, taste and aroma and I would semi agree only because my both my live blue dream grows smelled the same but I think bud candy complemented it very well so this grow I'm gonna try using a combination of some of these other uh, I've got just shit tons of samples I've got lots of hydroplex and tons of sweet and some Humboldt stuff I've got their silica their honey their uh, equilibrium and uh, the bloom I don't think I'll use the bloom but you know, I'll be using some of these towards the end to try to uh, try to give out some different aromas with this Purple Kush Grow. I think it should be great. And then I've also heard some pretty good things, so I picked up a little bottle of this about the Floralicious Plus. I'm going to be trying to, I'm going to be applying this as a foliar spray and in my reservoir. Um, so uh, I will be going over this when I apply these as well. So I've heard pretty good things about this, so we'll try try this. So yeah, um, that's pretty much how I, uh, the nutrients that I've been using and the, the way that I apply them. So if you guys have any questions, please feel free to let me know if you have any other input um, or anything that you think that is worth giving a shot, let me know or throw it on the, uh, the moderator function on my channel. I really encourage you guys to use that. I would love your input and I'll try to make a video, you know, every week or two weeks based on the topic that you know is up at the moment and then I can take it down and start over so you know put your input in and let me know what you guys think and uh, you know let's try to really spread some knowledge and I think uh, I'm, I should be able to hopefully dedicate enough time to really make you know a good effort for you guys keep in mind that while I am moving in here and I do have quite a bit of resources at my hands I am trying to keep my costs down and at least until these first two harvests are done so try to work with a lot of what you see here um, in relation to different variations of things also uh, and then you know once I get everything all under control then I'll definitely be able to uh, branch out and I'm also working with other companies to help provide me with some of those things to really uh, be able to broadcast it to you guys and show you uh, you know what's the best of the best so that's it for now I'm starting to ramble so if you guys have any questions let me know other than that see you next time